In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this LED panel. Now for this project, uh, you're going to need a 3D printer, which I know not everyone has, but hopefully by the end of it, I can inspire you to get one if you don't have one. But uh, let's get into this and uh, take this thing apart and see how I did this. So from the front of it, this front panel just comes right off. And uh, here I have this translucent material that I found. It's like just packing material. But uh, let's take a look at the panel now. So the way I designed these channels here is I put a small overhang so that they'll slide in and out, but they're held in, in place. I'll show you that when we go through the 3D modeling. But that actually worked out on the first try. I was really surprised. I just used my calipers and measured everything. These are 10 millimeters wide, these, uh, these strips. But taking a quick look here at how I wired this up, they're all wired up in parallel, as you can see here with the white and green wires. But let's flip this thing around and take a look at the back now. Back panel just snaps off. Just like that. Now from the front, we just got this red, this black. I'll show you in a minute here how I designed this circuit. But 12 volts go straight into here from here. And it's switched on by this MOSFET. The MOSFET uses a PWM signal from the Arduino. And that's how you do the dimming. Obviously the potentiometer is the input for the dimming. This does the processing, I'll put it to here. So as you can see here, we got these guys, we got these screws underneath here, I got brass inserts. And underneath here, it just goes through. I, use, I got hex nuts right here that I used heat from the soldering iron to push into the PLA. So throughout the build process, I did record things here and there while 3D printing and even when I uh, was putting the circuit together on a breadboard. I also got some of the uh, soldering while I was putting the circuit onto the strip board. But let's hop into Fusion 360 and take a look at the model. Okay, here we are in Fusion 360. Uh, take it easy on me, I'm just a dumb mechanic and I'm learning Fusion 360. So this might look kind of crazy down here in the parametric timeline and all that. But uh, here we go, I printed this in, uh, or I designed this in four different pieces. As you can see here, I got four different components. The uh, main body, front cover, control box, and rear cover. Uh, the front cover is nothing special. It, I just designed it to like snap over this uh, main cover. So let me turn that off for now. Let me turn everything off except for the main body. Uh, here's a look at the front of the main body. I designed these uh, feet down here using a GoPro accessory that I had. And in retrospect, this distance from here to the tip is a little too short because the normal thumb screws uh, doesn't, uh, it hits the bottom of this. So I ended up just using a screw straight through that uh, little tripod mount, but it works great. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, if I were to redesign this, I would just make this like a few millimeters longer, a couple millimeters longer. I designed these, uh, these little hex uh, cutouts here to house the nuts for the bolts that bolt the control box in from the rear um it's just six millimeters across which is the exact uh dimension of the nuts so i had to use a little bit of heat just to persuade them into the holes it was slightly tight uh down on the side here where i slid the led strip into this front panel here let's measure this real quick inspect oops Deselect, inspect. So I made those exactly 10 millimeters. Uh, this little channel, which is the uh, exact width of the LED strip. So they slide in here nice and snug. And um, I created these slight little, let's zoom out slightly, this thing's getting crazy. I created these uh, slight overhangs here, which they just protrude out one millimeter. And then I, I cut it at an angle just so it's easier on a 3D printer. It's not 3D printing in thin air. Uh, but both sides, one millimeter protruding out. And that just holds the strip down. And it holds it nice and snug. It actually worked out really well um, the first time around. I didn't have to do any type of redesigning or anything. Uh, everything that's printed, I printed just on the first try. And I haven't done any redesigning because I just plan on making a whole new a whole new one in the future. But that's the front panel, pretty basic. Those holes just go straight through into the rear cover. So let me turn the rear cover on now. 
oops, that's, I mean the control box, sorry. Uh, the control box is pretty simple. I just got some standoffs that I designed into it for the strip board that I used. The strip board is like pretty expensive. It's like $5 for that thing. So you don't have to use strip board. You could just create a thin piece of PLA plastic with these uh, holes of the same dimensions and just bolt that down and super glue your parts because this is such a simple circuit. You don't actually need any type of prototyping board or anything. You can just solder wire straight to your Arduino. This cutout here is for the USB port. Uh, this cutout here is for the potentiometer. And this cutout here on the side is where the 12 volts goes in. And you saw I just used one of those like DIY 12 volt power in adapter things that I have where you can just screw down. I have single core wire screwed into it. So pretty simple. And the rear cover is just a uh, Something I made just to cover up all the electronics. Just fits nice and snug on there. Let me turn everything off so we can look at the other side of that. So that I didn't make any tolerances or anything. It just pushes in and it holds in with friction. So what I did was I created a slight little cutout here for a flathead screwdriver if we needed to persuade it to come out. All right, so let's look at the front cover real quick. This little cutout here is so that uh, it clears those little feet, mounting feet in the bottom. Uh, these, I don't, I designed this to work with the main body where it snaps over like this. However, when I printed it, it ended up being short. So I'm honestly not sure. When I measure it all, it seems like it measures fine in the program. I don't know. I must have messed something up somewhere where that doesn't work like I planned it to work. Uh, let's turn everything back on. Hit the home button. So yeah, guys, uh, that's a look at the 3D model. Let's take a look at the circuit real quick. It's pretty basic. Oh, before I go, before we look at the circuit, as you can see here, this uh, light here on my left side. Oh, that's actually from the LED panel. So, you know, it works pretty good as a little backlight, or you could even use it as a main light for uh, tiny products works pretty good let's see yep there she is <laughs> all right let's look at that circuit now okay here is a quick look at the circuit as you can see it's really simple just a few components here we have our arduino potentiometer mosfet led strip vcc in and a couple resistors so uh pot or potentiometer here runs on five volts on one end goes down to ground on the other end and then the sense wire goes to a zero our mosfet here we have a pull down resistor 10 kilo ohm down to ground and then we have a wire uh, one kilo ohm resistor in series to d5 on the arduino so the reason for the pull down is we want to make sure that this thing shuts off when we want it to shut off uh, without this sometimes i found that it hung up so that's why I added that. And uh, if you don't know how this works, it just uses a real quick square wave that turns the LED strip on and off really fast. So you change the duty cycle using the Arduino and that's what varies the brightness. So the MOSFET here, the uh, source goes down to ground and then the drain goes to the negative side of the LED strip. On the LED strip, we have the positive side going to VCC and then VCC is also powering the Arduino. The, the nice thing about the Arduino is it's already got the five volt regulators built in and the three volt regulators built in. So if you have components uh, that require that, like this potentiometer, you don't have to do any type of linear regulators or anything like that. If you were to use an AT Tiny, which would also be just fine for the project like this, you would have to use some kind of linear voltage regulator to bring down the 12 volts. You could also use a buck converter or anything like that you can you know you can also do this with a 555 timer which would run on 12 volts the circuit gets a little more complicated because you need a few more components like diodes and things like that but it's actually pretty simple as well and it's a nice easy cheap way to do it but these arduinos are two dollars a piece on aliexpress so if you're just making something real quick you're just making one-off products and stuff like that this is a good way to go if you're mass producing, 
might want to go cheaper route with a 555 timer. But yeah, if you're new to Arduino or you're new to 3D printing, this is a good beginner friendly project to do. The uh, prints don't really take that long. I think the longest print took like four hours, which was the uh, the main the main body. And then this circuit's super easy to build. You can build this on a breadboard and just run the whole thing on a breadboard if you wanted. You don't have to put that back cover on. <laughs> but if you uh, end up building this, let me know in the comments. I think it'd be pretty cool to see some of your designs. If you want to share them with me, I'd be happy to happy to look at it. I'm going to be building a version 2 of this LED panel. So make sure you subscribe for that where I use better LEDs. And I'm going to probably use more LEDs to see how bright it gets. And as you can see, this, I mean, I don't know what the color temperature is on that light. I may make the new one bicolor which is actually really easy too, and I'll show how to do that in the next video. But I also got another project coming up with uh, some stun gun modules. I saw some videos of those and it looks like looks pretty cool. So make sure you subscribe for all that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's dangerous.